I used to love the nightlife and hang out in a bar. I used to hit the bottom, but then I hit a car. Laid up in a wheelchair, paralyzed for life. Got money through a settlement to see me through the strife. My attitude is different now, the future's not so bleak. I even got a mansion and thrown it for free. It's my life, such as it is. My life, such as it is. I gotta level with you. I'm pretty new at this. Why don't you boys just talk it out yourselves and do what you think is right? Friends, it is on bended knee that I appeal to you today. We need your help, and we need it now. I don't claim to be much of a philosopher, but two questions have always bothered me. One, does God exist or did man invent him to help us deal with the meaninglessness of life? And two, where can you get a good corned beef sandwich in this town? In return, we offer you love and forgiveness for your many sins and transgressions. Oh, please! So dig deep into your hearts and your savings accounts, underneath the cushions of your sofa, and eternal salvation can be yours! Hey, careful! I almost felt that! How can a man with so little muscle tone have titanium toenails? You did that on purpose. I could have lost an eye. Sorry. I was aiming for your mouth. Ouch! One of those little bastards cut me. Now I've got to get a tetanus shot. So, how's the new job? Great. Just great. They even gave me a nickname. All day long it was Goddamn Imbecile. <laughs> how do you really know how to make a guy feel welcome? So send half of all you own to the Halo Redemption Foundation, and you too can be saved. It seems everywhere I turn, large sums of money were being donated by desperate people hoping to buy their way into heaven. And let me tell you, real estate up there ain't cheap. You think this is heavy? Try walking a mile with a wooden cross on your back. Redemption, salvation, tax-free money market funds. It was then I saw the light and asked myself, how can I get a piece of this holy pie? One little chickie never gets to hatch. Into the pan with a little smash. Hey, Lord of the Dunce, speed it up already. We're starving. The culinary arts must not be rushed. The integrity of the dish is at stake. Nah, none for me. I'm not hungry. But I made this omelette especially for you. A masterpiece of egg and cheese existing in perfect unison. <gasps> I, I don't believe it. No, it can't be. What, something crawling in it? It's not bad enough I found one of Riley's toenails in the hash browns. It's her, in all her blessed glory. The Virgin Mary. Are you sure? Where? I can't see it. It's a sign. It's a message from above. It's... One of your stupid schemes? Imagine worshippers from everywhere coming to see the sacred egg portrait of the Holy Mother. Bringing their credit cards and holy checkbooks. <laughs> Amen! Bow your heads in worship to the miracle omelet. Praise there be. She nice is. yolks. I can't see it. Right, quit shoving. There's plenty of miracles for everyone. Ladies? Welcome to my humble shrine, ladies. <gasps> <sighs> uh, 
Okay, people. Time's up. We mustn't tire the omelette out. Shall we give thanks? Kindly place your donations in the holy coffer and rejoice. Step right up, folks. Miracle omelets don't grow on trees. on our hands. It looks like we robbed an arcade. It's barely enough change for the laundry. Ooh, I bet I could fill in some gaps in my rare coin collection. Oh, you mean those coins locked up in your bedside table? Yes. Why? Well, I, um, I, I needed some change for the condom machine. Now, now, Blazer, don't upset the Miracle Maker. He's got a lot of important work to do. I do? We need more of those omelets, stat. But that was a miracle! How can I duplicate perfection? Perhaps the miracle lay not in the omelet, but in the hooks of he who created the omelet. <gasps> Could it be? You must keep cooking. We'll need a hundred of them by morning, and go easy on the cheese. Have you ever been convicted of a felony? No, no. Well, that stolen car thing was a misunderstanding. And that shoplifting charge? Psh, I was gonna bring it back. <laughs> of course, <laughs> there was that time at this strip club. I'm just gonna type in no. Done. I'll print up a copy. Hello. Where are my boys? What kind of trouble are you getting into? I've been embraced by the spirit, Franny. I'm dedicating my life to doing the Lord's work. Uh-huh, go on. Be not so cynical. I heard the calling, and I picked up on the first ring. I opened my heart and accepted salvation. If it's true, that's wonderful. Finally focusing your efforts on a worthy cause, channeling your energy toward a celestial journey. That's me. I'm just about to get to work on my first sermon. Sermon? Don't you have to be a minister? You had yourself ordained over the internet? $35 later, I am the very Reverend Riley O'Reilly. <laughs> I've never been with a holy man before. I really did feel a calling. Dollar signs were calling to my wallet and my lap was calling to Franny. Can I get a hallelujah? They say the Lord works in mysterious ways, and I guess it's true. How else can you explain wars and famine and rap music? But when it comes to religious questions, I figured I was as qualified as anyone to answer them. He's quite a musician. He's had a lot of practice handling organs. Hello, my friends. My name is Riley, and I am a sinner. <gasps> Only yesterday, my life was in disarray. I was a bum, a ne'er-do-well, a sheep in search of a shepherd, a lamb in search of mint jelly. I fell off the path to righteousness in Catholic school. And the nuns made me feel like garbage by making me stand in it. The downward spiral continued into my adult years. Good night, Riley. <laughs> my life was worthless, without meaning or value. But then, the power of the omelet turned my world around, and I became a messenger for the Lord. Join me and share these teachings from the scriptures. <laughs> On the first day, the Lord said, let there be light, and there was light. On the second day, he received the electric bill, and he did cringe. Then God handeth the Ten Condiments down to Moses, and said that a visit would be paid unto him by the ghost of Christmas past. 
And if he should see his shadow, there shall be six more weeks of winter. You are so generous. And he descended from Mount Rushmore to a burning bush where he cooked loaves and fishes for the multitudes because there was no takeout in that area. And it was good. Amen. I'm here all week. Be sure to stop by the gift shop on your way out. And always remember to spay and neuter your pets. And he does welcome you into his fold. Unless you stray. For then, he will rain pestilence on your house and damn your steed forever! Uh, excuse me? Uh, when do we get to see the omelet? My prize azaleas! And look at them now! You march right over to that asylum for the criminally disfigured and make those gimps pay! Absolutely. Right after I finish... Now! I'm on my way. goeth the business, Brother Grizz? The replica omelets are flying out the door, and the holy hotcakes are selling like hotcakes. I need a half dozen chocolate crucifixes and a case of the Chardonnay holy wine. <laughs> One little chicky never gets to hatch. Oh, what's the rest? I can't remember. One little chicky. There he is, the magic chef with the gift in his hooks. Oh, I can't go on. I need to lie down. Now, now, no one said doing God's work would be easy. Was it easy for the disciples? John, Paul, Ringo, George? Brother Lefty, you must continue your work so his lighteth may shineth. I'll try it. Just little chicky! Listen, O'Reilly, my lawn isn't your parking lot, and if you don't... Excuse me, can you tell me where I can park around here? I'll take care of that for you, my little doll face. My lawn is right next door. You can park on my face. Uh, azaleas! I did do it. I'll never do it again. I promise. Please, put the ruler away. Religious fraud is a blasphemy on the buttocks of his church. And I'm here to wipe those buttocks clean. <gasps> the Lord has eyes everywhere. He's watching you every second of the day. Ah! Excuse me, sister. Would you care to make a donation to the Church of Riley? Huh? Who goes there? Just making another drop-off. You sure it's safe here? This place is locked up tighter than Riley's behind. I'm the only one with the key. <laughs> Uh, forgive me, for I have sinned. Go ahead, my son. Yeah, I um, accidentally smashed my brother in the head with a croquet mallet while he was asleep. I see. I was hoping for something a little juicier. And now every time the phone rings, he gets a nosebleed. Say two Hail Marys and call me in the morning. Oh, and double, no, triple your donation on the way out. You know what I don't like about people giving us their small change? Please enlighten me, Reverend O'Reilly. It's that it's small change. We've got to get them to dig a little deeper. Just how much is a man's soul worth? Oh, oh I do believe you're going to find out. Yes, it's all getting clearer. How much do you know about faith healing?
<laughs> you ready to do the Lord's work, Brother Fontaine? You sure that's what he wants? He always seemed to be an above board kind of dude till you started working for him. He wants us to raise money any way we can to help the orphans. Think of the orphans. Oh, Fontaine will do it for you, orphans. You can't deal with a vast world in a half-vast manner. If you're going to be a savior, you have to look the part. That's John 3.16. And voila! It's only perfect. And now, I must tend to my flock. And now, direct from the gates of heaven, the holy man with the plan, Reverend Riley O'Reilly! Greetings, friends. Tonight, I'd like to share with you the most remarkable event in my life. Last night, an angel came unto me. <gasps> Riley, he or she said, it's tough to tell with angels, you have been blessed with the gift from above, the power to heal. Can I get a hallelujah? Hallelujah! hallelujah. While I myself remain in this chair, my withered limbs a symbol of my degenerate past, I shall heal the sick, the infirm, and the feeble-minded. And what is your affliction, my dusky child? I'm blind as blind can be. My world is blacker than a damn cup of Colombian coffee. Nothing but damn darkness my whole damn dark life. Do you believe in the power of healing? I do believe. Take me now! Huh? <gasps> hey! You who are blind shall now see! I command it! <laughs> I can see! I, I can see! Oh, the color is so beautiful. The Lord has fixed my broken eyes. <laughs> We're going to need some extra coal on the hellfires for this one. Yes, good sir. How can I help you? I lost my body in a tragic knitting accident. Get up on the table, my son. By the power vested in me, I pronounce you able to walk! Little <laughs> investigators, infallible by association. Take us to the ungodly one. Nice work, everybody. Fontaine, at the six o'clock show, I'd like you to drop to your knees and praise me after your sight is restored. Got it? Anything for the kids. Uh, excuse me, I'm going to work on my lines. I can see. I can see. I can see. Kids? Oh, didn't I tell you? This money is going to the orphans. And by orphans, I mean anyone who doesn't live with their parents. For example, you and me. <laughs> <laughs> I can see. The donations are really coming in after that performance this afternoon. Why, it does this old heart good to know it's going to a good cause? Yes, the orphans. Come on, Lefty, hang in there. We've got to keep up with the demand. The healings are really boosting sales. Ah, oh, go easy on him. The poor guy's falling to pieces. <laughs> Little chicky never gets to hatch. And you made a flimsy omelet. What good is a flimsy miracle? Uh, I suppose he is a little pale. Lefty, take a two-minute break. The rest of you, let's restock the gift shop then. Uh-oh, something wicked this way comes. Open up! We know you're working from Satan's cookbook. Oh, no! She brought the Pope's henchmen with her. We have to get rid of the evidence. Every one of these omelets. G get eating! We've got to get rid of 
of that one. Guys, not me. Sorry. You're the savior. Fine. I'll do it. Bob and his helpers amid their tools of deception. His noxious creation is here somewhere. I saw it myself. Where do you keep your ill-gotten gains, devil spawn? No! Says the butch. A word outside, if you please. It was here. The devil's in this house, I swear. No, hand me! I know it's here. Oh, the Lord is watching you, Riley! We're all watching you! Uh, that was too close. Maybe we should let things cool down a bit and spend some of our ill-gotten gains. What do you say, Devil Spawn? <laughs> <laughs> nice work clearing out the cash. I thought she had us by the short and curlies. You should have heard their smiling faces, Riley. It makes a man feel all clean and good. Whose smiling faces feel good? The orphans. And it was such a sizable donation. <gasps> what? The hell? They're going to build themselves a chapel and dedicate it to you. Isn't that nice? For the first time, I was actually having a genuine spiritual experience. Feels better. Wait, I don't believe it. Do you see it? Look, it's her face. The Holy Mother. Uh, uh, no way. Why? Get him. Oh, shit. Ah! 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 No. No! 